Okay, we're in the Atelier in Luxembourg. Probably the smallest venue we'll do on this tour. And the nice lady, Favier, who welcomed us in, is telling me that Luxembourg language is a dialect of German. This is our stage, that's gonna be small. That's challenging, that is. The audience apparently will be standing up, which in the case of our audience is gonna be a challenge. And this is Fabio. Yes. Hi. Fabio, sag was zum Zuschauer, bitte. Zuschauer. Um, in Luxembourg. In, in Luxembourg. Um, hallo, du bist heute zu Luxemburg am Atelier. An heute Novend als Tubular Welt sei. Und ich bin auf einer mega großen Bühne. Uh, ich hoffe, du bist dabei. Um, viel Spaß. Danke. You're welcome. I'll put, I'll put subtitles on the video later. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs> They've pretty much got everything covered here. Let's make no noise. Please respect the local residents and keep the noise down when leaving the venue. And a sign I've never seen anywhere before. Parental advisory alert. <laughs> oh, I've got to love that. Yeah. Do you sell the movies? <laughs> so, Damien's sorting out the power. I think he's got it. Well, this is going to be funky. So our challenge, should we choose to accept it, and we don't actually have a choice, is to fit our entire show onto this stage. I don't really see where the monitor engineer is going to go. We'll probably push him off the edge and stick him over here behind the PA, probably. In front of us will be the mosh pit of our geriatric audience. Sorry, dear audience, we love you. <laughs> Percussion up the back somehow. Got to get a drum kit on there. Daisy, Quasi, Lisa, Jay, Max, and Robin. No grand piano tonight, the electric piano. There we go. I'm sure we'll manage it, but I don't think there'll be a lot of shakes thrown up there this evening. Nice to find traces of ex-students. Daughter formed in my life performance classes at uh, the ICMP and went on to considerable success. Lovely old chair in the dressing room. Game of Thrones, the static version. I love a venue with a sense of humour. Luxembourg. I came here over 40 years ago with a band. <coughs> we had a two week residency at a restaurant, I cannot remember where it was. But we were here. I don't really recognize very much of it. But uh, the lady who <coughs> let us into the club this morning was telling me that the Luxembourg language is an ancient German dialect spoken by a tribe who stretched from Luxembourg 
down to Romania, apparently. And then she spoke to me in the language and I recognised it. It sounded a bit like the Cologne dialect, which is kind of to, English, to German what Glaswegian is to English. So I'm going to town. I'm going to meet an online session client of mine who I've done probably an album's worth of guitar and I mixed half the album for him. I've got a lot of work from we've never met, but we're going to hook up. And then later on at the show tonight, the bass player from the band that I was here with 40 years ago is turning up. He stayed here after that residency and became a currency dealer. And was told by his boss on his first day at work, no, oh, you didn't do too badly, you only lost 100 grand. And he's stayed here ever since. So I'm looking forward to seeing him. Well, we shall see what transpires. We managed to fit onto the stage. I don't have to use my alternate rig, so we're good to go. This is quite spectacular and wonderful. Shame the building down there, really. But again, a clear river with a total absence of shopping trolleys, bikes, litter and all that kind of stuff. It can't just be because they're richer than us. There's something in the mentality, in the psyche, that means that they just don't trash their own living spaces. But I'm not going to rant again. Not for a little while anyway. Catch you up when we're back at the gig. Oh, this bus is going to ruin my shot. I knew it would do that. So this building here, if you look at the front of it, it looks like it's broken, which was probably the architect's intention, I would hope, there's a sort of sliver jutting out. Come down to the less crowded part of the tram so I don't have too many people seeing some weird bugger talking to himself. And public transport here in Luxembourg is free. You don't need a residence car or anything. You just get bored and off you go. So this is three stops back to the central station, which is near the gig. <laughs> Good. Because I'm busted for a wee. <laughs> yeah, I know too much information. The boy in me who still wants to be a train driver has made his way to the front. I could do this, I could yes, do no. yes. See how hard can it be? Push a lever. Yeah. We're rocking. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, yeah. 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 that's yeah. <laughs> Sorry. The uh, next few days it's going to be difficult to find time to make and upload these videos because we're doing overnight trips between the shows. Um, so I'll try and get them up, but I'll, if not, I'll catch up when we get somewhere with a hotel and a decent Wi-Fi connection. <laughs>